Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? So, uh, anybody doubting that Slime is one of the best shows of 2018? <laughs> <clears throat> Man, I honestly was not expecting to not even see an, one action from Rim this episode. Just, he literally... I mean, I kind of did expect it, but I didn't know that they would go so in-depth in just making um, everybody else, like, just shine this week. And I am I have no problem with that because, to be fair, um, the whole show kind of feels like it's more, um, like, it's more catered to having, like, these other characters that we are being introduced to like all the time it feels like the show is really good for that aspect of just continuously bringing them in um you know like making sure that rim is not too much of the main to be all end all type of deal like if you would ask me this week if who is going to do the most work um i might have said the ogres just because they wanted revenge and just because they were probably going to go all out once they got their chance to, you know, get their hands on the people that straight up devoured the uh, village. But not only that, um, I wouldn't have said the wolf was going to do uh, <clears throat> nearly as much as what he did this week. He straight up evolved into like a two horned wolf and then not only that he does a move that is so powerful it summons up like six or seven tornadoes and black lightning at the all at the same time and it's called death storm um and just by the way that rim was reacting to it you could tell it might be something that he could easily attain somehow maybe so yeah just imagine everything you see in this episode being used by him and it goes up in power just because he's using it you know um so whatever we see as of today it could have gotten much stronger with being in the hands of the of a certain person so that's how crazy this show is like just by showing us multiple attacks multiple ways for um you know people to literally be stronger than others it always can be translated again into something where our character our main character is gonna get much stronger excuse me um and so what this episode does for me is it not only is it the best episode of the season right now um but this episode definitely puts me in a better position to say like oh man this show has by far the most potential I've seen in 2018 to be one of the greatest shows that uh, happened in 2018 for anime as well, uh, mainly anyway. So it's funny to me to see that and to know that so many great shows actually came out and then just to like give it to Slime for not only did they um, really make me feel like I was going to see something a little less like um dark and gritty but no like the show actually is pretty dark and i appreciate that aspect only because it didn't seem to come off like that in the first place you know it didn't seem like oh man you're gonna be watching lizard men be eaten by pigs and then after they the pigs eat them they're gonna earn scales they're gonna get scales and anything else they ate they're gonna earn different things from them too and start mutating uh all of these things plus having um the protector of the forest show up and trying to like straight up take out the people who were doing her wrong or at least doing her people wrong in the case of they are straight up coming in the forest and ruining you know the life the the peace and tranquility or at least just the cycle of what happens in there so to know that uh rim is just coming in and about to go ham uh 
it was like, oh man, this is this is gonna be sick. The slime's gonna show us the most that he can do, or you know that the genderless can do. And yeah, he has to do nothing. He literally is going to just pretty much fight the orc lord. Like that's how crazy it's gotten. So just like how we saw the general this week, just like walk past all of his troops and seemingly not fight anyone but the main leader of the lizard men. Rim is taking that approach like that's the only thing he's really worried about at this point is just the orc lord I don't think he believes that any of these other things can even touch his army now because as he says he's like this army is literally disappearing uh, in a blink of an eye you know so they are l just getting wiped out instantly and I mean if you look around the map it is so gorgeous to continuously see these black explosions just popping up all over <laughs> and uh, come to find out it's like not even from Rim the whole time I'm like oh my god Rim is going off and then you just find out it's not even Rim that's going off this whole time on just tons and tons of people so I was really happy that they played it off as like Oh man, look at these black crazy flames. We know who has black crazy flames. And it's like, no, that that's not the person who's doing it at all. Uh, and that's another way of uh, also showing us that those are probably some black flames that even Rim himself can uh, attain if he really wanted to. So always keep that in mind with this amazing show. Um, not only that, uh, we get to see just where... Um, certain characters, uh, like, like the, for instance, the goblin who, Gobby, who jumps in there and actually, like, m moves the blade or, like, saves somebody from being killed by a general. Like, our, one of our smallest little goblins almost ranks up, or at least is rank of, an orc general <laughs> like or at least he has the enough power to deflect one of the attacks of an orc general which is like what maybe one step behind the lord or two you know so no, i think it's one and uh that just put into my perspective like my god bro if if everybody is not even at their max right now this show is absolutely ridiculous if Somehow the goblins are going to get stronger. Somehow the orcs, the, you know, the olgas or whatever, the ones that are actually on our team are going to get stronger. We are in for a treat. This show is just getting started from the lights of it. Um, the thing that really also has me, like, entertained too is they seemingly know, an like, how to treat an audience because not only... Are they, like, showing us, like, oh, man, these guys are really strong, but they're not as strong as our guys, you know? They then show someone that could be stronger, if not um, the one that they truly should be worried about in the first place. And that's a guy who even, the man who was going out and gave the name to this pig to have its power to be able to dis uh, make an army that would follow and have the same ability of Devour... He is scared just because this army has come in and d done what they've done. So not only is he already like terrified that he might be uh, eaten by his own or not eaten, but just killed. He, he get killed by his own leader that sent him out to do this. So that that's pretty much where we're at with this show. Like we know that the people who like send out these like fighters and usually uh, put out demons or monsters to do their dirty work, they honestly don't care. I mean, even we seen one of the demon lords. Um, I think the the demon lord that had sent out, you know, the girl with the mask that passed away with Rim. I think that guy who sent her out actually. Um, like he didn't he just didn't care you know like that's just how they are they're gonna send people out just to send people out at, at seemingly times or just to show their dominance or just to gain power they're going to continuously uh recruit and get stronger people <clears throat> on their side so it kind of puts into perspective that everybody in this show that has the ability to gain stronger and stronger 
uh, teammates or at least pawns in in some case that is really like what the show is kind of showcasing the most of like whoever makes the most like named friends that continue to evolve has the strongest army and um i can only imagine like where um like all this training or whatever like if they keep continuously meeting people and learning different techniques it's it's over you know like not to mention they looked absolutely like the the main cast of the people who got their village destroyed look so dope like the red hair guy look his outfit is so dope compared to like just what he looked like uh, when he was full on like orc or you know full on whatever they call him. So everybody's looking pretty dope. Rim is sitting there. I should have added some black wings to my character because those wings were so freaking dope, bro. Oh my god. Not to mention Rim was finally in his outfit that we seen in the opener. So I don't know if anyone like actually. You know, notice that he pretty much got a new set of clothes and stuff. I'm pretty sure people are going to be talking about that. But, uh, yeah, he's finally in his opener clothes. So, hopefully that means that um, we're going to be... We're getting into even more of the story. Because I feel like after fighting a demon lord, there should be some more... Like, a little bit more stuff to talk about, you know? Or, like, with him having his army defeated wouldn't he want to step in and do something about it so i think this was a brilliant way to just have him kind of like um ease their way into a demon lord as well as ease their way as into um explaining just the evolutional power <clears throat> or the gap that our uh, our team in general had comparing to this just this one pig army or if we even compare it to the lizard man army who couldn't do nothing we literally send one person in there to save the the lizard king and after he's been you know after we send one guy in there he's completely saved and okay and even his troops are in there getting saved with the slime juice to drink so rim is so broken bro but this is still like one of the best episodes they did not just focus on this battlefield they didn't just focus on one battle they went and showed us that with people who want revenge you truly should never sleep on them or you should truly never expect or you know not expect them to want to come back and if they're twice as strong they're going to use all their power on you as soon as possible and with all of the big boys being taken out and leaving the biggest one to rim for next week's episode, I'm just kind of interested to see what he actually chooses to use because um, the Chaos Eater, or Ka yeah, Chaos Eater, the those like weird black tendrils that came out and try to eat the Lizard Man, if that is a ability that, um, what's his face, the Lord can use definitely gonna be an awesome fight but i feel like just like with rim the the lord who's been like you know doing the most he should probably have some uh some pretty good you know like moves if that that chaos eating can't got picked up by a general and he said he was much inferior to the lord so even though people don't notice these things in these types of shows they're literally power scaling um and actually telling you like hey you see how strong this general is and what he's like how easily he is slapping this lizard guy yeah the lord is about 15 maybe 10 times stronger than this guy he said he was far and uh, far inferior to the lord so take that as you will guys we are looking at the big big changes that are coming for the, the orc lord in the sense of he's about to get bodied <laughs> he's about to gain a hole in his stomach where even if he devours i don't think he's going to be able to live uh anymore because rim is pretty close and not only is he close 
He's putting on the mask. He's putting on the mask. Um, the one thing I do want to question or that I kind of want to uh, put in the air is I believe the guy who thinks he's going to be killed by his leader, um, the guy who pretty much ran away from the dryad, the the, girl, the queen of the forest, um, I think he is going to become a little bit more of a problem than initially like believed or with how fast he's moving in the air right now it shouldn't take him long to get to the battlefield and if he does where would he go like is he really gonna go to the orc lord it just feels like he either he wouldn't go to the orc lord or maybe he's going to bump bump into rim in the air um i'm not really sure where they're going with that and that's where like i love the show is they kept jumping to different spots they jumped to rim watching over this huge battle and it kept dwind uh, dwindling down the numbers of the main forces and then they would jump you know into the battle so you can't really tell how many of the forces are but from their perspective it still seemed like there was a lot we saw one of the women one of the waifus straight up just cut one time and cut like a giant hole throughout like the ground and split the earth and stuff you know so there's some of these things that they're doing that they're continuously showing that there's probably more growth to come. Or if this is their max power, that is where all these villains are going to have to scale is off of Rim's partners because Rim is much, much stronger than all of them, um, in my opinion. And that's me not being a like reader of any of the source material, but... From what I could tell, these moves and these things that they're doing are like chump change to what Rim would do with those same exact powers. If he had that sword and swung the way he did, or the way that the girl did, it probably would have ripped to, you know, ripped down to the center of the of the earth or something crazy, you know. So um, that's just their way of saying, "Hey, look at this attack and imagine what Rim would do." In my opinion, like, and I love that aspect of the show. Um, not to mention, Rim did have a really dope looking katana on his back. Or I don't know why I call him a he. Uh, I mean, he even like compliments the sh the most like shadowy ninja on his team, like as handsome and like attractive and stuff. So I think he's really playing the genderless role. Like he isn't a boy, he isn't a girl. But so I'm just gonna tr I'm gonna just try to say Rim as much because it's it's his name, you know. So. Um, but Rim and just how he like comes off truly is fun to watch. And I truly hope you guys are enjoying, uh, the content that I'm dropping out. Please drop a like and subscribe. It will be greatly helpful for the channel. And if you guys wouldn't mind sharing this video around, it will help it even grow quicker because some people are going to check it out. I just want to hear opinions on how you guys feel about Rim, the show in general, and if you do enjoy it, let your boy know I am the Anime G, and I hope you guys have a great day, morning, night, evening, whatever the case is, and I will talk to you in the next one. <laughs> Alright, peace.